afternoon friends today is November the 1st and it's a beautiful day here in Vail Austin Georgia and I've just got a couple of uh, updates I want to share with you first of all the third complete TV program is uploaded to Dropbox and I let Chris and Dorothy know that and told them that I would see them Monday and so hopefully I will know Monday the days and the times that Faith in the Word will be broadcast on TV. And it will, it's almost exactly 60 days since I last uh, seen them in person. And it's been that many days since I talked to Chris uh, about getting a program on the air. So I suppose two months isn't that long a time to go from YouTube videos to television. <laughs> uh, I think that's pretty good in two months go from YouTube to television like I said I believe that's pretty good so with that being said we are leaving here in about four days and we're going to be gone almost three full days on the road up to South Carolina and I touched on this earlier in an earlier video about I could honestly use a little help with the expenses on this trip. And as of today, you know, nobody has helped with that. Now, let me just say, when it comes to helping uh, with the needs for the TV channel, I mean, y'all knocked it out of the park many times over. You know, uh, y'all took care of the cost for the first six months of airtime. Uh, a, a precious couple, you know, purchased the computer that was needed to create uh, these these programs I mean y'all did exceptional on that and friend that's just money that I can't touch <coughs> excuse me and um, that money is reserved for airtime so I can't mess with that and I had some unexpected expenses this month. And I'll just be honest with you. Me and my wife, uh, we had to help her daughter uh, with the needs of the baby that was born just a few days ago. So that was an unexpected expenses. So, I mean, so we're just short. That's all it is. And I was praying today when I was getting ready for work and I was asking the Lord I, and I just flat asked him, I said Lord you know why you know why hasn't anybody gave uh, to help me with the expense here and a few things was brought to my remembrance and this has to be God because this is nothing <laughs> this is nothing that I would think of myself they ain't no way well the thought came to me and actually the word said here's what I heard why don't you let Joseph take care of your PayPal account and I thought what let Joseph take care of my PayPal account. <laughs> I mean, whoa, God, are you serious? So, uh, here's what I sent Brother Joseph. 
And if y'all know anything about what's went on with me and Brother Joseph, me and him's had a small feud, so to speak, simmering, and it's bought, all been over my PayPal account. So here's what I propose to Joseph. I've already sent him an email that I would take down off of my videos. Now, I can't go back to the last 400 videos. My gosh, I would never get anything done. But I'm talking about going back to the last 10 to 20 videos, uh, which is probably what all is going to be watched anyway, and removing my PayPal information, the Patreon information, and the GoFundMe account information. And in place of that, putting up his PayPal information. That way, and I propose this to Joseph, if you want to donate to Million for Christ, you will send your donation to Joseph. That way, Joseph could more or less be the auditor or the accountant or the person to make sure that Asa isn't embezzling funds <laughs> out of the ministry. That Asa isn't misappropriating the funds of the Million for Christ ministry. And I thought, God, you know, that's a good idea. Uh, and anybody would know that if Joseph is overseeing it, <laughs> they would know there ain't no way that boy Asa would be doing anything wrong with the donations, which I'm not. So anyway, hopefully he'll accept that. And like I told him, you know, let's say one of my cameras broke and I needed another camera. I could say, Joseph, I need a replacement camera. The middle camera broke, ain't working and it takes two weeks to get it fixed. I don't need to be down for two weeks. And it's a Canon Vixia R700 or whatever it is. They're about $250. Would you order one, send it to my home address? And then that way he could use the money and he could purchase the camera and send it to me. That way he knows where the $250 went. Or in a situation like this, if I said, Joseph, I'm fixing to run up there to South Carolina. Going to be gone for three days. Me and my wife's got to rent, uh, got to stay in two hotels room, and we need money to eat. Well, Asa, how much is it going to cost? Well, Joseph, we've already looked at it. The hotel rooms are going to be $103 each. So that's $206. And we might need $80 for gas money and about $50 for uh, for food. So you're looking at, eh, not quite about $325 or something. Then Joseph could transfer $325 out of his PayPal account into my PayPal account, and then I could use that money to go on this ministry trip. Actually, I think that would be a great way to do this. And um, so hopefully he'll accept that. Because like I said, if anybody knows anything about what's went on between me and Joseph, uh, and you know, here's, here's the thing that just hurts me to my heart. And I'll be honest with you. This is what just hurts me to my heart. When there's people out there that when me and Joseph was having this feud, they would come to my uh, channel and, and call me a con man and call me a, a scammer and just call me all hateful names. And anybody who knows me personally, I mean, who knows me, who grew up with me, knows that if anything, I am far from that. If anybody truly knows me, they know that I give and give and give and give. And that's the reason why that I literally, any extra money that I have, it's given to help 
people or to help in this ministry. You know, I, I just can't tell you the amount of times that I have family members and friends who come and ask me for money, and I give it to them. And you know, Jesus himself said that. Jesus says, if any man comes to you asking for your coat, give him your cloak too. If anybody asks you to go one mile, go two miles with them. If anybody ever comes to you asking of anything, he said, give it to them. Now, of course, you know, I have a bunch of little smart butts that will send me an email and say, well, Asa, why don't you just give me all of your stuff since you're going to get raptured anyway? Well, dude, Jesus didn't tell us to be stupid. But I'll tell you what, if Jesus said, or if the Holy Spirit said to give something away, I would give it away because that's happened before. God has told me twice to give things away, and both times I was obedient. And one of those times was to give my brother John my car. And I gave it to him. Come to find out later that John, you know, said that he was seriously about to commit suicide because he had just lost his truck in an accident and he had no hope. So, see, God knows these things. So anyway, I just want to share with you, like I said in this video, it's only been 60 days, and it seems like those 60 days have been forever. But come this Monday, God willing, I will be in North Augusta, South Carolina, recording live on WBPI wbpi.org Monday morning 10 o'clock with Dorothy so if you want to watch me live to verify that I went go to wbpi.org and go to their website scroll down where it says watch live click on that and you will see me with Dorothy and possibly Chris or, and Tamara, his wife. And then the very next day, I will be in Greenville, South Carolina. That's going to be on the 6th. But then on the 7th, I'm going to be in Greenville, South Carolina with Allison. Now, that show is going to be done at 1130, but that's going to be taped. Because that's going to be for their, I think they call it Dateline. Or not line or something but that show is going to be taped uh, for future uh, viewing and when the man called me two days ago verifying that I would in fact be there I told him that I was extremely interested on getting faith in the word uh, on their program or on their television uh, station and he is supposed to be setting me up a interview or a meeting with the president and the owner of the Christian station there after my interview. So, yeah, I hope that coming home or either after the recording when I'm in the hotel. No, actually, after the recording, we're driving home. That's right. So, after the recording on the 7th, me and Jennifer will be driving home. So, hopefully I can give y'all a praise report that, hey, we're now on two Christian stations. So, be praying about that. And guys, let me tell you something. If you think doing what I'm doing is easy, just try it. I'm just going to be honest with you. I work, I come home, and I'm working on the computer trying to edit these programs. And I tell you, it is a monster 
of a task uh, to produce what I'm doing. Because what happens is when I'm recording, I wind up recording about 35 minutes and it's hard to pick and choose exactly what needs to be cut out of that teaching to get it down it to 28 and a half minutes and then on top of that you have to create the the um, what I call the scripture boards uh, under Photoshop you take a public domain uh, wallpaper then you have to uh, put on top of it uh, the text of the scriptures get it centered get it formatted save it and then do that all again for the next two or three scriptures and when I sit there and read about eight or nine scriptures that's just right there that's three of those uh, scripture boards that I've got to uh, create so I'm not complaining by no means am I complaining. But I'm definitely letting you know that I ain't just out, you know, enjoying a, a leisurely day in the recliner. I mean, I'm going to tell you. I've got three done, and I'm working on that fourth one, which is called The Greatest Power on Earth. When that one is done, I'm going to have four totally complete. And I'm off tomorrow. So I'm going to try to record a fifth message tomorrow. So that hopefully by Monday morning I can have five totally completed. Where when I show up with Dorothy, I'll have five complete messages available to them. When they said they only needed three my goal is to have five that would be great so anyway thank you for your help and you know I, I hate to say this but I really do need some help you know I had uh, people give me money uh, for King's Grill I've had money give people give me money for Sherry and the money that's for King's Grill is for King's Grill. The money that is for Sherry is for Sherry. People has given me money for airtime. The money for airtime is for airtime. And that money is right where it's at. I do not need, nor am I going to use the money for airtime, King's Grill, which I'm actually sitting in front of King's Grill right there, if y'all want to see it, I'll just show it to you. See that right there? There's King's Grill. I hope I'm holding that right. But there's King's Grill right there. It's not open right at the moment. Uh, they close like at 2 o'clock. But anyway, that right there is where a lot of people that I hand these coupons go to see Miss Pat. And uh, But anyway... I hope you hear my heart and I hope you understand I'm not a con man. I am someone that truly cares about the salvation of people because I cannot stand the thought of people being thrown into hell. That is one image in my mind that just absolutely breaks my heart. Anyway, friends, I hope to hear from Brother Joseph. And I know Brother Joseph is listening, man. <laughs> I know you're listening. I know you're listening, Joseph. And it could be for this very reason, the reason why me and you had our little, little skirmishes. Um so that you could do what I have proposed for you to do. So anyway, if there's ever been a video that I needed your feedback, I need your comments, I need your suggestions, it's this video right here. I need to hear from you people. I mean, I really need to hear from you. 
God bless each one of y'all, and I am thoroughly looking forward to getting back up there to South Carolina and finding out when Faith in the Word is going to be broadcast. And I will let you know the minute I know. All right, God bless you, my friend.